Hey everybody, December 29th, and it is a beautiful day here on the southeast North Carolina coast. Uh, it is 70 degrees, and it's just starting to cloud up a little bit at sunset, but for most of the day it was pretty clear, and on these wonderful, mild days, especially on a weekend like this, this is an ideal time to take my fig cuttings outside and do a little bit of routine maintenance. Uh, most of the fig cuttings, they're coming along pretty strongly. Most have rooted and leafed out, and now that there is significant roots, uh, they need to be watered more often. They are using water at a much higher rate than before, so I wanted to take them outside and water them. I recently did a video on a quick and easy method for watering your fig cuttings, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to also apply a preventative hydrogen peroxide spray. There's no visible disease on any of these cuttings, but I like to do preventative sprays because it's much easier to prevent disease than to control it once you already get it. So I recently did a video on that as well, and I'll link to that video above. But I wanted to give you an update on how things are coming along. Over here, you're going to see my first fig cuttings that I got from Off the Beaten Path Nursery. I got these in the very beginning of November, and they've been in the pots for quite some time. Uh, this is my Col de Dame Noir cutting. This is incredibly vigorous. You can see how well developed the root system is. It's all over. Uh, they're actually growing out of the pot and drying up once they grow out. You'll see how well this is this is leafed out as well. So uh, this is by far my most vigorous cuttings. Uh, this is also a Col de Dame Noir. It hasn't leafed out as much as the other Col de Dame Noir, but you can see the root system is growing out of the pot. So in a couple of weeks, I'm probably going to have to up-pot these. They're starting to grow really out of control. Uh, my Smith cutting from Off the Beaten Path Nursery. Uh, this Smith cutting is doing great. It is rooting out like crazy. The roots are starting to grow out of the soil. So this is going to be up potted soon as well. You can see how nice the fig leaves look. This is another fig cutting of the Smith that I got at the same time as the other Smith. And you can see nothing going on with this one. It has not rooted yet. However, it's just starting to wake up. I'm getting a bud here. And I'm getting a bud here. So I expect this to throw out roots within the next week or two. But Smith seems to take a while, so I'm not too concerned. I think this cutting will eventually make it. My Black Madeira KK. This looks awesome. I'm so excited that I have a successful cutting of the Black Madeira KK due to its great reputation. You can see how different the leaves look compared to most other leaves. They don't have that hand shape that most other figs have. But this is really doing excellent. My only cause for concern here is this Black Madeira KK, which also came from Off the Beaten Path Nursery. I got this on November 2nd, and it's been in this pot since December 6th. Um, previously, it was wrapped up for a month in paper towels, and it is just not doing anything. It's not showing any signs of life at all. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this cutting very gently and I am going to place it in, I'm just going to bury it in damp dirt and I'm going to see if it'll sprout roots somewhere along the line and I'll see if I can save it that way. But uh, this might be my one cutting that I'm not too confident in making it. Over here I have my raspberry latte cuttings. One, two, three, four, five. I bought them all from Figbid. These are incredibly vigorous. You can see all of these raspberry latte cuttings have immensely great root systems. One, two, sorry for the noise, they're building a house right next to mine. Here's three, this one is a little behind and leafing out, but it looks pretty pretty good. The roots look fantastic, so I know it'll make it. Here is the fourth raspberry latte cutting. And the fifth one, this one was quick to leaf out, but it hasn't shown any roots until yesterday. And I have my first root right there, if you can see that. So it looks like this is going to root out. 
and these these came almost a full month behind my other cuttings from off the beaten path nursery so I probably got these from maybe an, an in-ground plant that um, was very very vigorous whereas my guess is these may have came from potted plants or plants that were um, in dormancy longer or maybe a refrigerated cutting but either way success is success uh, it's still plenty of time before these have to go in the ground uh, my final three cuttings are all Italian 258 cuttings I received these the last I received them from Thigbid and none of them are showing any roots just yet but these two right here are starting to show buds. So you can probably pretty easily see this bud right here. That is new. I think we also have a little bud that's forming right here. That one might be hard to see. But I'm going to keep an eye on this for roots. Hopefully something will happen within the next two weeks. With this cutting, I have a small bud there and a small bud here which you may or may not be able to see so they look pretty good this cutting right here is not doing anything at all it's the smallest one so I don't have a lot of hope for it um, you may see this bud on top here but these buds one two three um, they came greener than that when I received the cutting so it was probably fairly fresh and now those buds uh, aren't doing too much at all so I'm going to go ahead and give these a little drink of water now that the sun is starting to go down. I don't like to do this when the sun is too high in the sky because they're not adapted uh, to the outside yet. So right now it's super mild out. The sun is setting. So this is a good time to water your fig cuttings and let them drain before you put them back in the bin. I have my bin here, which I, I cleaned out. I put fresh paper towels in the bottom to catch any excess water. And my lid is mostly off. It's about half cocked right now. Uh, since, the fitting, since the fig cuttings are so far along, I don't want to expose them to too much humidity anymore. I want them to start acclimating to the normal air. So that's where everything is right now. I'm pretty happy with the progress and hopefully over the next month uh, the stragglers catch up and I wind up with a successful variety of everything that I have thus far. Uh, my final cutting, I just purchased a Col de Dame Blanc which I got from the same seller that I got my raspberry lattes from and that guy right there it's only been in a paper towel for three or four days and it's already showing uh, root nodes initials are beginning uh, all along the cutting so it's super fresh the seller is super awesome so I'm probably going to pop that up tomorrow as well so I'll keep you all in the loop as to how that one goes and I have two more varieties on order from Will's that uh, I expect to get within the next couple of weeks. I think I have um, a Noir de Barbantane and I have a maybe a Borgeso Grease that is also coming. Uh, I don't remember 100% but I'll, I'll see when they get here. So I'll keep you in the loop as to what's going on here. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, follow along, I'll give you regular updates and I hope that I'll have a pretty nice collection come springtime. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again next time.